Watch you guys got another video here for you. This one is the Windows 10 October 2020 update and everything you need to know about it. It's also known as Windows 10 version 20 H2. Normally Microsoft refreshes their operating system every six months with the most recent one being uh, the May 2020 update. And now we've got this version, which will soon be released in October called Windows 10 October 2020 update. So what can you expect from that when you install it? As of right now, for those who are in the Windows Insider program, the October 2020 update is available right now for release for those people. And you can choose different versions. Uh, according to Microsoft, the latest version, which is uh, the version 20H2, will be released in October sometime. So what does that mean? Will there be loads of bugs? Uh, will there be more issues? All I want to see from Microsoft is a release from, from them that is going to actually work and not be problematic to uh, my daily workflow. I think a lot of people are just at the point now of, you know, they just want a stable operating system. Some people are staying with older versions, and I'll talk about that in a second, about what versions are safe to stay with and which ones you need to then upgrade and things like that. So again, would I advise you to join the Windows Insider program? Probably not, because uh, you are just a guinea pig. And if you're looking for a stable system to use, then this is probably not the one for you. So what is the Windows Insider program? It's basically a place where people can download and install and update the latest versions of Windows 10, which are in beta and it's now been brought out of beta. So the Windows 10 October 2020 version, which is the 20H2, has now come out of beta, which means people have been using it and then sending that uh, data and telemetry back to Microsoft so they can uh, fix out any sort of bugs that may be with that operating system before they release it to the general public. Uh, so... We've only just really, in my opinion, got a stable version of Windows 10 2004, and a lot of people haven't even updated to that version as of yet. They're still running 1909 or even older versions of Windows. So I think the general public are just literally wanting a stable operating system that works. Why keep upgrading to new versions when they could just fix the version that they're using to stop people from having to go through all of this drama every single time? Every single release has been problematic. Every single release has had bugs and issues, and it gives people downtime. They can't use their PC properly in some cases. But remember, guys, there is also people out there that don't have as many problems as others. And the reason for that, there is so much hardware and so many different types of hardware and system set outs that they have to all uh, be supported. And the problem is it's not easy to do that. And of course, you're going to get the odd person on YouTube that will say, oh yeah, well, I've had no problems, you know, and that is always the case. Some people have very little problems and maybe just maybe that's because they don't use their PC as much as some people. If you're doing this all the time and you're using your PC all the time, then you're going to see more problems than someone who only logs on to watch a couple of videos and do their email and then log back off again. So what can you expect from uh, this latest update from Windows 10 when it's released in October? Well, there will be some changes uh, to uh, the menu system here. There's also going to be a ton of bug fixes again. As you can see, there's a big list of them at the bottom here. I'll just quickly show you a massive list of uh, bug fixes and changes and improvements that they've done to Windows 10. So that's what they've done and been working on. Now, these fixes were just for the version Windows 10 2004. Now, for those people that say there is no problems with Windows 10 2004, you just have to look at the extensive list of uh, problems that they've had to resolve and some of these are pretty complex problems and some of these do affect a lot of people very badly especially companies and things like that so you have to bear that in mind all people do want is a stable operating system so some of the changes are going to be to microsoft edge chromium based microsoft edge browser that's now going to be 
embedded into the latest update so you won't have to download that version we're also going to have a new start menu uh, as well which i'm not going to go too much into detail because i can cover that in another video also we've got taskbar notifications and some other bits and pieces that they've done now if you're worried about the life cycle of versions that you're using here i'll quickly go through these for you so you can understand uh, whether you're going to still receive updates so looking here at Windows 10 2004, um, you can see here May uh, 27, 2020, and end of service is going to be for December 14, 2021. End of service for enterprise and educational uh, are December 14, 2021 as well. Now, if you're on version 1909, you've got up until May 11th, 2021. And if you're on version 1903, up to uh, December 8th 2020 to get those updates otherwise that will then be end of uh, life which means you won't get no more updates for it now if you're using version 1809 then that's november 10th 2020 is when that ceases to receive any sort of security patches and updates unless you're using the enterprise or educational version which will go for may 11th 2021 so you can probably see that's probably the cut, cut off right there uh, for people that are using those, unless you're in a business enterprise level where uh, for 1709, they've got to October 13, 2020, and 1709, they've got to October 13, 2020 as well. So they're not giving a massive amount of time for versions now. They're killing them off and ending the life cycle on those pretty quickly. Now, there's also a note down here which says not all features uh, in an update will work on all devices. A device may not be able to receive updates if the device hardware is incompatible, lacks uh, current drivers, lacks sufficient storage space, or otherwise outside of the original equipment manufacturer's OEM supported period. So basically, um, so if you're running version 1909, you've still got until May 11th, 2021 uh, to you know continue to use that now another big misconception is a lot of people in the comment section especially from a certain other channel they will come on and troll and say if you don't update you are going to be insecure and that just goes to show you how much they know basically what that is is a feature update and uh, you will still receive security updates as it says on here you're going to still receive security patches and updates on that version and up until the time when they end support for that version so it doesn't matter whether you're running 2004 or 1909 you will still receive the same security updates for those some of the features on there might be slightly different that's the thing so you might not have some of the features you got on the latest versions because you haven't rolled out that uh, update for that version now another question i get quite a bit is it safe to download windows 10 version 2004 that's going to have to be your decision what you do on your computer i am using that version on my pc now uh, but i won't be upgrading or updating to windows 10 version 20 h2 right away i will hold off from that because of probably the uh, problems that are going to come with that version with every release there's always been many bugs and they've only just finished fixing and patching windows 10 version 2004 if it's took them six months to actually sort that version out, then uh, I don't hold much hope for Windows 10 version 20 H2. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it really is entirely up to you. You are running out of time on some of the other previous versions. If you're using those, you might want to consider updating to another version, which is more stable, uh, that gives you a bit more time to receive patches. There's a big difference between security patches and features uh, security patches are essential you definitely want to not stop those or block those you definitely want to receive those to your computer to keep your pc safe and patched fully okay now you can do that with different versions of windows 10 you don't have to be on the very latest version to have the latest security updates you will get that with uh, different versions as long as they've been supported and the life cycle hasn't ended for that version so let me know in the comments section below. I'll be interested to see who's going to update to Windows 10 version 20 H2 as soon as it comes out. It's not released yet. It will be released in October sometime. So let me know in the comments section whether you're just going to roll out that update and go with it or whether you're going to be one of these ones that hold off 
and wait and use a previous version right up until the end when the end of the life cycle happens. Because people just want stability. They don't want to have drama and have to reinstall the operating system all the time. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope this information helps you out. I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos. Thank <laughs> you.